Get on the fucking ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on. Is that a gun? No, sir. Is that really a fucking gun? Welcome to First Person Defender, where regular people come face to face with unknown attackers. Whoa, 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 this is First Person Defender. A quick nighttime run to the grocery store. Maybe you throw on your gun, but do you know if there are other people carrying guns in the store and what happens when something goes down? All that right now on First Person Defender. This force on force training uses real firearms converted to fire marking cartridges. As the, the CCW movement or concealed weapon movement grows, that there are definitely more and more people every day that are carrying concealed. If two people, three people, four people all take action at the same time, there's gotta be some communication, there's gotta be some sort of coordination. And beyond that, I mean, how do you even tell who the other good guy is, who the bad guy is? I mean, there's a lot of things that could be unfolding all at the same time. You know, for the last 10 years or so, I've been doing firearms instructor and, and instructing and, and learning, you know, in, in situations like this. As a instructor, you kind of try to plan what you would do in certain simulations or situations, and so, you know, you're kind of expecting a situation and you're kind of playing out how would I respond to that, but as you know, sometimes they don't always go as you plan. It's definitely not simple. This is definitely going to be complicated. It's, it's like a machine with a lot of moving parts, and there's a lot to go wrong when you have a lot of moving parts, so we're going to see how it works. Uh, plus, we're also going to be placing them in some compromised positions, so that should add to the confusion and the, uh, the challenge that Chad's going to have to face tonight. Chad is minding his business in the grocery store when things go sideways. Is he able to react when someone else intervenes? Hi, uh, you guys got, uh, can I get some germids and some uh, You know that, that, that guy that won a while back, that guy that won a while back came, uh, oh, uh, all right, I'll be back. But anyway. Yeah, I'll be back. Um, that. Get on the ground! Get on the fucking ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on. Is that a gun? Is that really a fucking gun? Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! All right, index, index, index. Tell me what happened. Well, I saw him come in, and when he came up to the cash register, I knew that was out of sort. The cash register was telling him, hey, you know, got to go back to line, and he was pacing around nervous. So I knew something went right. I was trying to get back a little bit. But when he came in and then came back with the gun, my first thing was to get out of line of sight so that I could get to my gun if I needed to get to he my gun. He kind of chased you. He chased me around. That was something I wasn't expecting to do because I was really going to well, say. Well, you didn't listen. No, you I didn't. You said sit yeah. down, you just started running around. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I got Please. killed. Yeah. I tried to, I was another concealed carry guy. Oh, were you? I didn't see you had a yeah. gun. Yeah, I didn't even get a gun. Oh, you didn't see, you didn't uh -uh. see it? I didn't see any of that part of I it. I drew a gun, I dropped it on the ground, I screwed up so my So that's draw. why he went after you. Yeah. 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 So you shot at him? I did shoot, yes. How many times did you shoot? I shot one. Well, I was kind of in a bad spot. I was on knee, I was on both knees. And so by the time I got the gun up and got the gun out here, the shirt got actually got kind of a slot. Yeah. Awkward position to draw yeah, from. Yeah, awkward. When you, when he identified that you had a gun, had you already gone for your gun? Yeah, I had gone for it to try to get to it, okay. and then I saw the gun come around my corner, and then I went hands up. And then at that point, it was already uncovered, and he could see it. And so now I said, I'm really in trouble because I know he's gonna be focused on me even more. And that's why I couldn't figure out why he was going back and forth between me and Ryan, why he was focusing back on Ryan, because I didn't know Ryan had a gun. He identified that you had a gun, you heard that thud sound, that was Ryan dropping yeah. his gun on the I ground. I didn't even hear the thud, I didn't hear that at all. Okay. One of the prime points on this, besides, I mean, you were kind of, you had your hand kind of forced where you were at. Uh, ideally, under the real circumstances that we were hoping we were gonna play it out, I'd say, you know, sometimes just kind of holding your ground and waiting until right. you got the opportunity, but things escalated. Yeah. So that's fine, things escalate in the real world too. Today I'm out here shooting the Springfield Armory XDE, practicing shooting around barricades. This is a nice little setup, but what if you don't have this at your range? How do you practice this? Well, you could set up a target stand and use that as a barricade, a piece of plywood, 
What about on an indoor range where you're shooting in a lane and that type of thing? Well, you could still stand there and practice leaning and shooting so you could start getting the feel of that. It's a good idea to get some training and learn the right techniques before you start practicing. But work around barricades. Don't just stand there flat-footed. Learn how to do this. All right, Chad, so one of the biggest shortcomings that we've got when, when our range or even a real world environment is we tend from a standing position to a kneeling, sitting, prone, supine, whatever right. it is, people start thinking so much about this new position that they're in that their draw stroke and their presentation starts to go right. way out the window. So the one thing we want to want to focus on when we get in this position is number one, clearing that garment right. off that gun, just like you would if you were standing up. The second is, is run that holster, no matter what position you're in, exactly the way the holster was intended to be used. So go ahead and do a couple of repetitions, make sure we're clearing it with the, the left hand and we're getting it in there on the right hand, straight up, straight out. Okay, one more. Good. And now we're going to add a little level of, of complication to it because you're going to be on your back. Clear that garment. You got to make an exaggerated movement to get over the top of it. Come out and present that gun out. All right. Yep. Yep. There you go. And if we don't practice these, then they become difficult to pull right. off under stress. First person defender brought to you by Kimber, Gundelio and Ruger. All right, so working from the very beginning of compromised positions, we're gonna start from a seated position. And this takes normal firearms training from that flat-footed, standing in, at a known distance in front of that one-dimensional object into a slightly different dimension because now we're compromising ourselves, putting ourselves in a seated position. I'm gonna demonstrate these dry fire and uh, time to talk through them, and then after that, we'll take them live fire. So, make sure, unloaded gun. The first step is, no matter what, we wanna make sure that we clear that garment. We're in a different position now, it's not standing up. Make sure we get that thing completely clear of that gun. When we draw the weapon out, we wanna do a couple of things. We wanna make sure that we run the holster the way the holster was designed. The gun comes straight out, and we pivot that muzzle straight towards our area of threat. The thing we want to focus on in these compromised positions is not dragging the muzzle of the gun across our inner thigh, flagging ourselves or flagging anybody else on the range. We want to have a good, clean presentation to our target and back to the whole thing. Threats don't always come from the front. There's times when bad guys or threats are going to present themselves diagonally from the sides, from the rear. So we're going to complicate it a little bit. We're going to turn the chair so that my left shoulder is now facing the target. Now, when we're in this position, we want to work again. The compromise the chair is going to provide us. I'm going to sit upright in the chair. I'm going to keep my body focused forward. Like maybe I'm caught in a desk, a, uh, a table in a restaurant, or I'm caught in the capsule of my vehicle. I can't turn and pivot. I've got to be able to operate from here. A couple of safety considerations as I demonstrate this dry is we want to make sure that we execute our draw the way the holster is designed. The gun's going to come straight up out. And even though we all know that in the real world, if I had to get that gun up, I would probably end up crossing my body with it. But since we're in a training environment, we want to make sure we take exaggerated movements around our knees so that we're not flagging ourselves, pointing the muzzle at our thighs, femoral artery, or anybody else that's on the range. So with an unloaded weapon, looking something like this. Running, clearing the garment, gun comes straight out of the holster, exaggerated movement around the knees, not running it across our thighs, come around, present up, come back around, and recover the holster. Pretty much everyone is carrying a cell phone in their pocket. And yes, they use the flashlight function all the time. And it works for little stuff, but really it's just not that powerful. Let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? I'm trying to light up this building up here, and that's all I got. 
It's a little bit, but now let's use a real flashlight. Look at that. Much, much different, much more powerful. And this is the Surefire Backup. It's still small, easy to carry, but much more powerful and can be used as a striking weapon if you had to, where a phone's not gonna do much for you. So think about a handheld light like this one for your everyday carry. Once again, Chad finds himself in line at the grocery store. Will his training allow him to react well when chaos comes calling? Okay, how are you? That's it? Everybody on the ground right now! Down, right down, right 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 now! Right now! Open the register! Open the register! Open the register now! Don't do anything stupid! Give me the money! What did you do, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Shoot that this is a freaking robbery. I'm not going to jail for freaking murder. Look, he wanted to get, he give me the money. Dude, we got to get out of here. All right, index, index, index. All right, tell me what happened. Um, find some toilet paper and uh, armed robbery breaks out. So I turned around and I got two guns on either side of me. You were stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle. You know, I was going to hope they were going to they would come out of there without firing any shots. When they fired a shot and then they started arguing, at that point, I had an opportunity to draw and um, put two rounds on this side and two rounds on that side. Now, you know, we had to use blanks in here. Did you, how did you feel like you, your sight picture was? Do you feel like you were hitting the target, hitting the bad guy? Um, I felt like the target was, I could, I can't, you know, at that point, sights are kind of, there, but I'm trying to get it up in, in my peripheral vision so that I'm pushing the gun out. And I felt like I had a good extension on the gun and out in front of me so that my line of sight was on them and that the shots were going to be, you know, on target. Any difficulties getting out of the out of the holster on this one? No, I mean, I was in a more familiar position at that time. I was getting up and trying to move and mm -hmm. so I was a little more familiar position. So I didn't have that problem this time. I wanted to still get moved, get cover if I could. Once I thought they had already shot and they were arguing back and forth, I didn't know how long I had before they turned back and saw that I had moved. I figured like I might be the next target, but I didn't want to sit still. I didn't want to be in that same compromised position again. I wanted to get up and get moving. Now, did you get hit at all in sir? I did not. Okay. So, so you taking a, a real positive action, getting right. out there and actually moving and engaging, probably is what, what helped resolve this thing in, in the way that it did. 